Hello everybody, this is Jeff Manning with Team Real and the Blues. On my Facebook and on my YouTube channel, one of the biggest questions I get is what rig do I use? Well, one of the rigs that I use, and it's one of the most versatile rigs, is just a standard Santee rig. I use this when I'm anchored, I use it when I'm drifting. Uh, if I'm anchored, I push the float up to the swivel, sometimes. Sometimes I leave it all the way down there and I float it just like you normally would, throw it out and let it suspend the bait. What makes this rig work so well is the fact that you got, every time this thing hits a bump or a log or a stump, this right here rises up, the bait rises up to follow it. When this drops off the other side, the bait snatches down and drops down and it don't get hooked. And what you're trying to do also is to keep this bait up off of the bottom and you're trying to keep it in the line of vision for the fish. Uh, he can see it coming through the water. He can hear it It's because you can see it moving around. It's probably going to make a lot more noise going through the water. So this rig here is just a perfect all-around rig. If you decide you want to anchor, I just take this float and I either leave it where it's at or I'll slide it up to the sinker if I want the bait to lay flat on the bottom. I mean, it's just a great all-around rig. One thing you should do, though, if you're going to use this rig for anchoring, I always tell people to tether this weight, this swivel, so that it doesn't slide. And the reason for that is sometimes you'll get a fish, he'll hit this, he'll really strip it two or three feet. Problem is, if you don't have this weight tethered to it, this rig will get up in the water column. Now it's hanging three or four feet up off the bottom instead of being down there at the bottom where the fish was that originally hit it. All right, if you look at this drawing, what you have here is you got the main line coming down. You got your drifting weight, you got your swivel, you got your leader with your float, and there's your hook. And you hear people talk about using a lot longer leader because they want to get the bait higher in the water column. Sure, that works, but the only problem is you got to go bigger when you do that because when you start making this longer, what you end up having is you got the drag from the water pushing this way. So you got the drag of the water. No matter how long you make this leader, this bait ain't going to just float higher in the column. It's just going to get flatter and flatter and flatter. So actually you kind of hurt yourself by going to a longer leader because the longer leader you got, the more drag you have here. So the more drag you have on your bait on this, it causes it to fall down even further. So ultimately it's always going to be in line with this swivel unless you get a big enough float to fight this right here. But one of the things I hear people talk about doing a lot of times is they'll take an extend this leader six seven foot and they're talking about well that way they can get it floating higher in the water column well me personally i think that don't work uh and the reason why is back when i doing a lot of crappy fishing there is a certain point where the longer your line is the more drag the water causes which is going to force it down even deeper with crappy it's the direct opposite it forces the line up to the surface so what i do is i just do a little different variation of this rig so what we have here is we've just got a eight alt gamagatsu. I got it snailed on, two foot of leader, and I got my peg float, just standard rig. Now what I do that changes everything, and I'll go over it in a little bit more detail with some pictures and some drawings, but I use another leader that I tie my drift weight on. The reason why this is better than using a long leader on your main line is if you got a long leader on your main line, what end up happening is this line will get pulled down by the drag of the water. So wherever this pivot point is, so if your drift weight is only three or four inches off the bottom, if you're using like a long stick weight, this is only gonna be three or four inches off the bottom. You can make it six feet long, and unless you increase the size of this float without increasing its drag, what happens is you can put a big float on there, but the minute you start pulling it, the drag pulls it right back down. So you really didn't gain anything by going to a longer leader. It just makes it harder to net a big fish if you've still got six or seven foot of line off the rod tip when you're trying to get him in the net. So what I do, like I said, I tie a leader on my drift weight. And what this does is now the pivot point, because I clip this on the swivel. Here's my drift weight. I clip this on the swivel. So what this does Instead of the pivot point being right here, right here, but if you have a standard weight, now the pivot point, because I'm putting this swivel and hooking it to that other leader that the line's on, now 
the pivot point is three or four feet up off the bottom or ever how long you use for that leader. We may talk about earlier about the drag from the water wanting to push this bait down or wanting to push it to this pivot point. When the pivot point was down here because of the short, when you had the swivel hook directly to it, that pivot point was right there. The bait was wanting to come all the way down to the bottom. Now the pivot point is right here. So you got all this water force coming through here. It's going this way. So when it's happened, it's actually pulling it straight in line now. Sure, you'll get a little bit of this bouncing and waving up and down, but by doing this, now your line is right here. So no matter how much force is going this way, your bait's always going to stay up off the bottom. Where if you tied it to here, your bait's being forced into the bottom. This is an advantage in a couple different ways. One of the ways is like, like we said a minute ago, you don't have six, seven foot of line hanging off the end of your rod tip because once you reel it up to the swivel, you ain't gonna reel it up any further. I've knocked eyes out. I used to do it that way. I've knocked eyes out of rods. I've broke my line before getting excited, trying to get a fish closer to the boat. Got a six foot leader and getting tangled up in the anchor rope. Just makes it more difficult. By doing this, this doesn't mean anything. You can even use like 10 or 12 pound test line for this. That way you know it always breaks loose and you don't lose your hook. It works good in current. If you're anchored in the river, this keeps your bait suspended four or five feet off the bottom. Three foot, however how long you make this. Where if you use a longer leader on your main line, on your hook, with the current, it just gets pushed all the way down to the bottom. You really didn't accomplish anything by going to a longer leader. Put your longer leader on your weight. I promise you, you'll catch more fish, and it's a little, it's a little bit aggravating when you, go to, when you first start learning how to throw it out. But it's no more aggravating than having a six foot leader on your bait. Trust me. I hope this works for you. Give it a try. Let me know how it works. Put some comments if it works good for you. As always, I appreciate you watching the video. If you got anything out of it, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, thank you.